Even on a rainy Thursday evening, the charging bowl sculpture draws a crowd. The iconic site, a popular tourist spot in this plaza in Bowling Green. A lot of tourists, people love it. You know, it's a part of the city. My daughter wanted to, to see it. It's really big. Visitors of all ages from all around the world stopping to snap photos as they strike a pose next to the imposing bronze beast. Now imagine the bull several blocks away outside the New York Stock Exchange, once again joining the fearless girl statue. This is all about this may have been the friend of the rich and the famous. Arthur Piccolo is chairperson of the Bowling Green Association and good friend and representative of Arturo Di Modica, the artist who gifted the bull to the city. Piccolo says Di Modica received an email from the city last week. Saying, uh, Mr. Di Modica, we have to move your bull. There is a dangerous condition at Bowling Green. I'm saying, what dangerous condition? I look out my window, and at the same time he's getting this email, DOT is showing up and creating this weird road right in front of charging bull. Piccolo is contending the city, in order to move the bull, created a safety hazard by removing the protective area around the site. It was done for one reason, to create a justification to move the bull from Bowling Green. Since 1989, I would estimate tens of millions of people, not one accident. PIX11 reached out to City Hall. They have not responded. Piccolo is also calling bull on their argument the bull is an attractive spot for terror attacks. He says the stock exchange would be a worse spot. And it makes it more inviting because not only do you have the New York Stock you have these two symbols side by side. With this area now open, we caught vehicles zipping by all evening and confused visitors stopping mid step. Piccolo issued a challenge to the mayor. Mayor de Blasio, come down here, debate the future of Charging Bull in public next week, just you and me.